Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys how I got these beautiful box braids. So the first thing that I did is I actually started stretching out my hair. Sorry guys, this, this was like the shortest intro ever. You guys already know to like, comment, subscribe, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor's dog. You guys already know how it goes. So we don't even have to get into that. Let's just get into the video. Right now I am just detangling my hair a little bit and then I'm going to add a little bit of heat protector to it. I'm using a Pattern Beauty hairbrush here and I'm also using, I think it's called B2B, but don't you worry, I will actually link everything in the description, all of the products that I'm using, including the hair and my tools. Okay, so as you guys can see, I am spraying all over my hair with this B2B, um, I think it's called Flat Iron Protectant, um, but I, obviously I'm not going to be flat ironing my hair, just blow drying it. I've sprayed it all over and you can see that shine, right? Like it actually makes my hair extremely shiny and sleek um, and uh, probably not sleek, just shiny. Just shiny, sleek is more like, it's like straight. It doesn't make it straight or anything, but it definitely makes it really shiny and it makes my hair handle the heat a lot better as it should. So as you guys can see, I am stretching my hair out. I'm pulling my hair and making it taut and then I'm blow drying it, running the blow dryer with um, that, um, I don't know what the name of that attachment is. Um, but yeah, you see, I have my blow dryer attachment on and I am blow drying my hair. Okay, so do you guys see those faces I'm making? And if you say you don't make faces like that when you blow dry your hair or when you're brushing it, um, you're lying. So whatever, do that. But um, guys, this blow dryer is actually so good. Like, I'm so happy that I bought it. I have another one, but this one is like, I just bought it on a whim and it's so nice. I will link it. It dries my hair really fast um and yeah you guys you can see that there's like steam coming out at certain points like don't don't feel um concerned for my hair it's just because it's a little wet from that spray um it's gonna evaporate it's completely normal my hair's not burning don't worry about it Okay, guys, so you see how my hair is all stretched out and fluffy now. Um, this is also one of the best ways to start a Bantu knot out. If you started on stretched out hair, you would be surprised how much better it turns out than when you do it on wet, curly hair. But yeah, I'm feeling myself. I love blowing my hair out. It's so much softer and fluffier and easier to comb my hair shrinks so much if you have hair like mine like low porosity uh 4a to 4c all around my hair it goes from 4a to 4c it's crazy and i also have like some ringlets too when my hair is wet or not even just wet it just has like so many different textures around it that it's so difficult to deal with when it's not blown out okay you guys do you care about my sad story no so let's move on right now I'm parting my hair
And now I'm just yapping to no one because I'm going to do a voiceover anyway. So why are you talking? Then I just turned all the way around and now I am trying to get a good part. But as you guys will see, I will definitely fail. And then I'll go to the bathroom and I'll kind of fix it. It's never going to be, in my opinion, like perfection on the back of my head is just like not going to happen. And I really just don't care about the back of my head. So, um, it can be ridiculous. I'm cool with that. So, um, I fix it to the best of my ability, of course, but it's, um, it's okay. Yeah, and I'm exhausted by the time I'm done with this. Even though it's not perfect, it looks okay. And then I will fix it, like I said, a little bit in the bathroom. It's when I try to do this other part here that I'm just, like, pushing it. <laughs> like, girl, no. But I end up fixing that, too. It's really not that bad. Um, yeah. So now I'm back. <laughs> Hello. I'm back. I have three braids in my hair. I am Houdini, and I am back with three long-ass braids. One of them is looking bumpalicious, but it's okay. I actually end up fixing my mistakes later. Okay, so let me show you guys how I separate the hair. So I like to start with one big piece. Now, I think this piece wasn't big enough because the braid that I end up using that piece for, it ends up really bumpy and just looking crazy. But I start with a big piece. Then I start with one that's a little bit smaller. And then I grab one that's the same size as the smaller one. Then I grab two that would, like, if you put them together they would be the size of the second and third one, if that makes sense. Because I am making it extra long, so I have to add more pieces of hair. So what I just did was smooth on a little bit of that uh, shine and jam. And now I'm going to take a brush and detangle my hair. And yes, babies, I even added that to the ends of my hair because I'm a crack addict and I'm addicted to the shine and gem. So yeah, um, now I am going to brush it out a little bit more. But for real though, guys, if you add it to the ends of your hair, they're going to tuck into the braid more. So just add a little bit, wash your hair after, you're good. Like it's almost like hair grease. Like this is like a mixture between gel and hair grease. It's really not. It doesn't feel sticky. If you use Shine and Jam, you know what I mean. It doesn't feel sticky. It actually doesn't feel bad for your hair at all. Like, it does not. It actually feels moisturizing. It feels good. And your hair actually doesn't take 
a crazy long amount of time to frizz up if you don't wrap it. So that's a good sign. It's not actually sticking like all of your hair together, making it crunchy like Okay, guys, and I'm just braiding over. As you can see, the two outer pieces of hair are going over that middle piece. And they're just going to continue going over each other. I think I do it four or five times. Most people who are better at it will do it like two times or three times. But because I just have a hard time gripping on the hair because I'm just learning how to feed hair in, it's easier if you braid a little bit longer down and then add the hair. If you try to add it closer to the root and you're not, you know, used to it, then you might have some difficulties. It's a little bit tricky to grip the hair, right? At least for me. You might have an easier time doing it than me. So now I'm about to feed in the other piece. So same thing. Um, once you get it in a good position where you can easily slip a piece of hair between your index finger and your thumb, then you can put it in. You could put the hair in, feed it in nicely, um, grip onto it tightly so that it can actually um, stay on the braid. And yeah. So as you guys can see, the shape is like a little bit bumpy because it's still practicing, but yeah. And then I keep going and add another piece of hair. Every time you feel like it's getting a little thin, just go ahead and add another piece. It doesn't have to be an extra big piece, but if you're doing them really big, you want to add more hair so that it looks good, so that it looks nice and full. I even wish I added more hair to this, but I didn't know if I was going to run out. So that's why my braids are a little small, but I like them fat. <laughs> Here we go. Now I'm adding another piece in.
this is like one of the best attempts that I've done. I've done this about three times and I just wanted to show you guys like a little bit about my technique and how I do this and make it really easy for myself. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys try this out and make sure that you share it with a friend. If you have a friend whose hair looks as crazy as mine at the beginning of the video, send them this video. It's a really easy hairstyle so that they can get themselves back together, okay?